Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to the very first episode of the BMX series, BMX Made Simple, where we explain to you how to do beginner all the way to advanced BMX tricks so that you can master them in a simple, easy way. Today we're going to be teaching you how to do the kickflip. Let's go! All right, this trick is technically called a kickflip, I guess, but me and a bunch of my friends all call it crank flips because like a kickflip is kind of a, a misleading term. In case you don't know, the kickflip is when you bunny hop and you just flip the pedals just like that. It's, it is a very simple trick. It's very easy to learn and get the hang of. And once you get it down, it's a lot like a bar spin. You can just put it in lines to spice things up. You can do it into manuals, out of manuals, into grinds, out of grinds, in spins, crank flips, downstairs sets, crank flips, upstairs sets. Me, personally, it's one of my favorite tricks to do just because it doesn't take a lot of energy. Now, the first thing you're gonna wanna do before you start doing the hop crank flips is make sure that you can just ride along and just kick the pedals. If you can do that, it's the exact same thing when you're bunny hopping. Now, a little trick that somebody taught me one time is the perfect way to make sure that you always kick it is to use your back foot and push the back pedal down a little bit, which makes it easier for your front foot to get that scoop. It's all one fluid motion. Push your back pedal down a little bit, and then you scoop with your front foot, and then as soon as you lose contact with that pedal, you just push your foot back down, and it'll always meet up with the pedal. You know, you, you might just put a foot down. That's the worst that'll happen. You don't really fall with this trick. You might get a shinner, but if you're scared of it, put on some shin pads, put on some ankle pads, wear some high top shoes. A lot of people say that you need to stand on the pedal with your toe to help you get that scooping motion. Some people say to stand on your heel. Me personally, I never think about it that much. It's more about where the pedals are in the rotation when you go to kick it than where you keep your foot. Once you master just riding along and kicking the pedals, and you can do that all day long, just up and down roads, just crank flip, crank flip, crank flip. Kick flip, kick flip, kick flip. Nice and easy, no bunny hop. You can do it comfortably with speed. Then you can start taking it to the bunny hop. Now, when you do it with the bunny hop, it's the exact same thing. You just hop. A nice little hop you don't have to go high and then as you're hopping just push the back pedal down with your back foot and then just use your front foot and kind of scoop it so push scoop catch that's all there is to it now as far as catching goes it's really not a lot of people say it's the hardest part of the trick if you want to start doing it like in lines and on big things, you have to be able to catch them real well. But it's not that hard to do. Because as soon as you scoop it, if you just put your foot where it was, that's why it's all one motion, you know? Your foot always goes back to where it was. All right, now the two biggest issues I see people having with the kickflip is two things. First, they can't get their back foot on the pedal. Second, they go to hop, and they can't kick it at all, and your foot just slides off the pedal. Because first of all, if you can't commit and get your back foot on, then just stick to not hopping. Just keep riding along and kicking it until it's just a muscle memory, until you can get your feet back on the pedals every single time, 10 out of 10, 100 out of 100, 1,000 out of 1,000. And the second one, if your foot just slides off the pedal, instead of kicking it, then you just gotta push your back foot down a little bit more to help you get that scoop. So these are the key components to doing the kickflip. You hop, you push your back foot down a little bit, and then you just take your front foot, kind of point your toes down, and then just pull it back. And then as soon as you pull it back, just as quick as you can, extend your leg out again. Because that's kind of what the motion is. You go to kick it, you pull your knee up, and then when you go to catch it, you just push your leg back down. When you're learning, you might want to loosen your cranks a little bit. It kind of makes it easier so that you don't have as much resistance. You don't have to kick it as hard. You can do double kick flips. You can do 180 kick flips. You can do half cap kick flips. You can do feeble kick flips. You can, it's just a really fun 
simple trick to do, and I think everybody should be able to do it. A lot of people like to hate on the kickflip because it's so easy, honestly. You know, like, you can do a tail whip, you can do a bar spin, but I'm just gonna stick to doing my kickflips. Something you might want to consider when you're learning kickflips is if your pedals don't have any pins, or if your shoes don't have any tread, the trick will be harder. It's possible, but if you're just learning, it's gonna be a lot easier to get that rotation if you have good pins on the pedals and good tread on your shoes. That way you don't have to worry about your foot slipping off as much. It's a lot easier for it to grab and scoop. But don't let that discourage you, because you can, by all means, you can definitely still do it with bald pedals and bald shoes. Put on some shin pads, put on some ankle pads, loosen up your cranks a little bit, go outside, ride up and down your street, and just kick the pedals just all day long. And then once you can do it nice and consistent, just do the same exact motion but with a bunny hop. And if you just commit, you shouldn't have an issue with it. Thank you for watching this episode of BMX Made Simple. If there's any tricks that you want to learn how to do, be sure to leave a comment below. If I can't do it personally, then I'll find someone who can. Be sure to click that like button, subscribe. All right, I'll see you guys later. Keep kick flipping.